So here we are right now guys for the next part inside of the how to make a raise a flopper type game over here in Roblox. This might be the final part. I don't well, I'm not going to say for fit for certain that this is the final part of the series over here, guys. But um, for the meantime, I think this might be one of the final parts of this series over here, guys. But today, we're going to be making the thing where you guys buy access to, like, outside. So, you buy, like, um, buy the thing in the upgrade shop, and that'll give you guys access to the outside. So, yeah, it's going to be quite cool over here. But before I start anything off, keep in mind, guys, I do have a Patreon account where you guys can join for only £8 a month, guys. And with that... With that money, you guys can access every single post which I've ever made on um, on this channel over here, guys. So you can go ahead and get all these um, Razor Flopper ones. You can get all the other ones on the channel. So you guys can just download them and paste in the script. So yeah, guys, if you want that ease, um, ease of access, feel free to go in and join that, guys. It is not too expensive at all. And with that, guys, you can maybe potentially make a lot of Robux from just copying and pasting those scripts. And anyway, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it now. So guys, what are we going to go ahead and do first? Well, guys, what I'm going to go ahead and do over here is inside of workspace i'm going to go ahead and add a new folder and i'm going to call this doors just over here guys after that i'm going to go ahead and add a part into this guys i think and what we are going to go ahead and do over here guys is just block up this door right now so we are gonna um pretty much block up this door and this door is going to be for people who have bought the outside pass if you guys kind of get what i mean let me just make this to a Kind of like the same colors before you know there we go guys we'll, we'll make it that color i guess and um, maybe slide it in a little bit more guys so it doesn't look so weird um right here one second let me just quickly change the size to 0 0.5 here and let me just quickly um scale this in a little bit okay guys so we have our blocked door over here guys so this is what we are going to buy to access the outdoors i'm going to also anchor this guys so what i'm going to go in and do is call this part um outside just over here guys and i'm going to put this in the doors folder Okay, what we are going to go ahead and do next right now is inside of the upgrade saver script, we are going to buy a new upgrade, and this upgrade is going to be the code low. I'm um, going to be local upgrade. I'm sorry, upgrade four, just over here. Um, you know what, guys, to be fair, we can just copy and paste these, that'll be a lot easier. So, local upgrade four, um, four and four, guys. So, this is going to be a bool value instead, and the name of this is going to be um, named outside something like this guys and the value is going to be equal to false there we go okay so after we've done that to be fair we don't really need to do the value what we are going to do next is we're going to do upgrade four sorry and that's update upgrade four dot value and that's going to be equal to upgrades data and then four over here guys and then that's going to save as well so now guys we have our outside upgrade over here what we are going to do next is actually enable the um screen gui and all sorts of stuff guys let me quickly make the shop visible and we are now going to create a new upgrade over here guys and this one's going to be named outside so what i'm going to go in and do is just duplicate this and we're going to call this one outside um just to be here guys there we go um one second let me quickly check if here upgrade saver um yeah you know guys let me quickly name this as outside with a lower lowercase o over there guys so i'm just gonna keep these names the same okay what i'm gonna go and do of course is change the description to um this gives you access to the outside something like that over there guys there we go um we are gonna create and um, change the item name to of course um outside um outside just over here guys we are gonna change the price well, what's the price gonna be guys we'll just do it a thousand and um, price is equal to a thousand cash let me just put the the, the symbol over there guys one thousand cash there we go and then of course we kind of want to change the image over here guys what i'm going to go ahead and do here is go to the toolbox and i'm just going to search up key oh just over here guys and hopefully we can find an image over here let me quickly just do it on actually images and then we should be able to find one here we go guys i'm just going to go ahead and get this one all i'm going to do is just copy this asset id i'm just going to delete that out and i'm going to paste that in here there we go guys so we've got our outside upgrade right now it costs a thousand and it gives us access to the outside okay what we are going to do next is just um make this um not visible again and we're going to change this by upgrade thing so what we want to do here is change the price to 1000 and then guys um what we want to do is i'm fairly certain we actually don't need to change anything else over here just how we set this up guys so i think this should be good i think this should buy and save you know guys let's do a little test run let's see if this saves um never mind apparently i didn't apparently i didn't um what wait what have i done over here guys have i just made these 
not visible. I seriously do not know what I've done. Um, yeah, never mind. I've not made the shop. There we go, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna test this out, guys. Hopefully, this is working over here. It should be working right now. Let's have a little look. Little go. So first things first, I am gonna need. Wait, what does this say? Um, never mind, guys. Okay, yep. Yeah, so we actually need to change this up a little bit. So what we're gonna do? It's been a long time since I have actually done one of these series, guys. So if um instead of right because this one is actually a bull value we actually won't be using numbers we're going to be equal using true or false so what we are going to do if upgrade dot value is um what about i think i'm just deleting something over here guys um one second let me just make that um invisible there we go so what i'm going to go ahead and do right now is do if upgrade dot value is equal equal to true then the button of course is going to be not visible and then if it's um again equal equal to true there we go, guys. Okay, this should now hopefully work, and it should save. So let's have a little look over here, guys, Um, right now. Okay, here we go. And let me also go ahead and change my cash. Um, upgrade, double cash. I'm um, sorry, not, not double cash, guys. Um, leader starts cash. Put this as 10,000. There we go, guys. And now let's go ahead and jump on into this. We're going to open up the shop. We're going to buy this, guys. And no, okay. Right, I think I know why that this is the case um okay so here it is i think what we are actually going to do instead guys we are not going to put this as a bull value so let's go back to the upgrade saver instead of a bull value guys it is just going to be an int value and then let me go ahead and just revert this back to what it was before guys sorry about that um it's been a long time since i have done one of these videos guys so i kind of forgot how all our scripts are working in here but yeah guys this should be good right now this should be good to work um over here so let's go in and jump on into the game right now and let's have a little look at this um okay so right hopefully this should work at the moment buy this there we go guys it's invisible and that's of course increased by one we got minus one thousand cash over there guys if we go to our upgrades thing we should see outside one now if you leave and rejoin it's gonna outside be one over here guys while i'm doing this guys as i did say earlier this might be the final part of this series over here guys i might do like the, the occasional part maybe once every few weeks or so guys kind of like what i used to do with the how to make it find the markers type game on roblox so maybe if you guys want to see some new episodes on this game just comment down below guys what ideas you have because i kind of feel like i've covered the core fundamentals of what makes a raise a flopper type game on roblox if you guys kind of get what i mean anyway let's quickly check over here if this is saved it should save right now outside there we go one okay what we are going to do next is make a script that's going to allow us to go ahead and delete this outside door so what we're going to do is this we're going to do inside of the start to play script we're going to add a new local script and this is going to be called um outside access just over here guys and what we're going to do is this we're going to do local players um local players is equal to game get service players then we're going to do local player um local player and that's going to be equal to players dot local player after that guys we are gonna do this we're gonna do local upgrades and it's gonna be equal to player wait for child upgrades after that guys we are gonna do local um local outside and that's gonna be equal to upgrades wait for child outside next we are gonna do local doors and that's gonna be equal to workspace dot doors next we are gonna do local outside and that's gonna be equal to doors dot outside next guys we are going to do this we're going to do if outside dot value is greater than equal to one then we are going to do um sorry guys we are kind of going to want to change this so we're going to um do outside door over here then we're going to do outside door um delete destroy and then to be fair we can also kind of destroy this script if it so we can probably do script destroy as well um next guys we are, of course are going to do outside dot change connect function so that's float whatever um connect function and then inside this guys we are kind of going to do the same thing again um so it, it checks that again guys so yeah let's go ahead and test this out right now let's hopefully see if this should work because we've already bought it guys the, the door's going to be gone it's not going to be here again um as you can see right now guys the outside door has disappeared and that will work guys if you are then by the door and um it will, it will of course remove here yeah, guys that's pretty much this part of the how to make a race of flopper type game remember guys if you are struggling join my patreon account you can download this exact roblox studio file but yeah guys that might very well be the last um video for this game on the channel by the way guys a lot of you have said how do you make something which when you buy it guys it um actually puts like a 
um, a decoration in the house for example a mat so let's say you, you made a new upgrade called a mat upgrade you kind of do the reverse of this guys instead of doing um if if the value is greater than one and destroy whatever you do you would just clone it in you'd um clone it into the game you'd get it from the works but the replicator storage you do I mean, you'd find it in the replicated storage, you'd do that clone, and then you'd parent that to the workspace, guys. And that's kind of how you do that, that the other way. But yeah, guys, if you want to see more videos on this series, guys, you know you like the video right now. And um, maybe message me on Patreon if you guys do actually want to go ahead and see some more videos on the series right now, guys. But for the most part, I think that might be it, or the frequency of these ones will probably drop. Um, but yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video here. I hope you all did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe to show some support, and peace out.